Hello everybody, it's Rochelle Melville from Rockmelon Recycled and Lulu Art Design team member. Today I'm going to give you a five minute handmade gift, perfect for Christmas, those last minute Christmas presents, great for birthdays and a great school holiday project with the kids. It's fun, it's messy, it's bright. Did I say it was fun? Anyway, here's what we're going to be making. And it doesn't require a lot of supplies. What you need is a white t-shirt and you need some fabric paint. You need a stencil brush, you need a bit of cardboard, you need a t-shirt and just some scrap paper so you don't make too big a mess. All of these can be bought at Lulu Art. Set up your workspace carefully. Put out your paints onto some sort of palette. I've just used a kitchen plate and get to work. So what we're going to do is we're going to load up our paint Instead of using a brush, we're actually going to use a piece of cardboard. Credit card size is, is fine, or something a bit smaller than a credit card. And the stiffness of the stiffness of the cardboard is going to push the paint over your t-shirt in a random way. So what we can do is just create patterns. Holding the t-shirt with your fingers a little bit as you maneuver the paint around really helps to uh, move the paint around. So already I've got three colours down and it's really only been less than a minute. And I just randomly put them on, letting them mix as they, as they will, brushing it on with my piece of cardboard. When I'm satisfied that most of the white spaces uh, are covered, then I'm going to pull up a stencil. Before I stencil, I'm actually going to use my hair dryer to make sure that first layer of paint is actually dry. But this is optional, you don't have to do that. The stencil I'm using today is a 12 by 12 stencil. It's from TCW and it's called Circle Explosion. And what I really like about it is it's had lots of different size of circles. I can just use the larger ones uh, or the smaller ones or I can actually go all over my page or my t-shirt or my art journal. And if you just want a couple of different sizes, you can actually mask off the circles with some post-it notes. Yeah, and then you can just use a certain section if you like. So here I am just using my stencil brush. Now with my stencil brush I'm actually loading up quite a bit of paint because the t-shirt really soaks up a lot of the paint. Usually I would offload some paint but not when you're using fabric. You really want to get a good um, set, good juicy paint through the stencil and underneath. It doesn't seem to bleed very much. You can get some quite crisp lines with everything that you're doing. So I'm choosing not to do every single circle. That's just what I've decided with my design. The idea is just to break the monotony of the, um, the first technique and just to add some interest with some circles to throw the eye and just make it a general background. This is not designed to be a particular design. All I'm wanting to do is make a background for the words, which is actually what the t-shirt is all about. So I'm just randomly doing some green until I'm satisfied that it looks quite balanced. Voila! There you go. Finished background. Going to dry it off again. Give it a little bit of time. And that's done. The next stencil I'm using is a little one I picked up a few years ago that I use all the time. It has a couple of birds flying and some birds sitting and a butterfly and it has a couple of flower heads. Um, I can't remember where I got it from but it's a really cute little one. I'm going to put a little bird in the corner here in black. So this is going to be part of um, the feature now, not just the background. These paints go on so beautifully. They're really easy to use and they are just, the colours are so bright. I'm really impressed. This is only the second time I've used these paints. Making sure I get a really nice crisp image for my bird. Let's see how it went. Perfect. Beautiful work. Okay, the next stencil I'm going to be using is a Donna Downey stencil and it is called She Is and it's a beautiful one that I use in my art journal pages all the time. I haven't used it on a fabric before but I can't wait to see how this is going to turn out. So it's quite detailed this stencil now so I'm going to really make sure I spend time going over and over each letter which I'm not going to show you on the video but you understand what I'm doing. Going very carefully and making sure every single letter comes out before I even lift up and I'm holding it really quite firmly with my other hand too. Load your brush quite often to make sure you've always got lots of paint on it so that your lettering is really even. And voila, it's finished. The 
print, uh, the beautiful stencil has come out beautifully. All of those letters are really, really clear. Beautiful paints, beautiful stencil. Really impressed with my little project. And it can literally take five minutes. She is clothed in strength and dignity. And she laughs without fear of the future. How powerful is that? And here you are. I thought I'd model it for you. Hope you have a great time with your next craft projects. If you copy my project, let me know. Don't forget to buy your art supplies from Lulu Art Mixed Media Art Supplies. You can find Lulu Art at www.luluart.com.au and you can find me at rockmelonrecycle.com.au.